Hey, hi, how are you? It's Crystal again. And I thought I would show you how I plan a little bit for NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month. So I brought this book out. And then let me grab my bullet journal because I already have the calendar written up in there. And I am filming on my phone because, you know, I'm a professional. No, I'm not. And I kind of like to know what days I need to get up. So what I first do, I'm going to split back here to my sketching ideas and let me get in a little bit closer so you guys can see better. Days that I can't write at all pretty much in November. I'm going to grab this fine liner. We're going to go with Thanksgiving. which is the 25th this month. Um, and then we're going to do Saturdays. Because I try to take Saturdays off of every type of work I do at home. So that's going to be the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th. Currently, I have nothing else on my agenda, so that's taking away five days. So that's going to give me 25 days that I can write. So you're going to take 50,000 divided by 25. So I got to get basically 2,000 words a day to be able to hit my mark as long as I don't miss any other days. And I can write on Saturdays if I need to. 20,000 isn't horrible for me. I do. Yeah, that was not a three. That was a two. Three to four sprints, which is just a concentrated amount of time of writing. So if I say I do... Seven sprints on average with my 700 words per sprint, and that's about 15 minutes to 20 minutes. That's still going to, you know, or that's supposed to be a three. That's still going to take me over my 2,000 every day that I write. So, that sounds good to me. And then I'm going to flip over into here where I've already made a table. Aw, one of the kids put a heart in here for me. That's so cute. So what this table is, it goes from 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. Monday through Sunday. Okay? And what I'm going to do here is mark... My work schedule. We're going to do work with red because that's times I'm not going to be able to write at all anyway. I'm going to go ahead and come over here to Sunday. From here to... Hi, baby. Hi. You're doing it again. I'm doing what again? Your tutorial voice. My tutorial voice. Okay. Most Sundays, I will be working in this block. That's a lot. I'll color that again here in a minute. And then, although I don't have a set schedule at work, I do know my general hours. So we're going to go ahead and go straight across here. And this is on average. This is not... You don't work on Mondays. I do work some Mondays. Because they don't turn around and they don't not schedule me. So if you give me a minute, I'll color this in. I'm not worried about this looking pretty at all. I'm trying to time block. On general. 
what's happening right now. I know I don't work seven days a week, but this gives me a blank spot. Now, I try to be asleep by midnight every night. You're right, Hopi, I barely sleep, huh? And I'm up by seven. Sometimes I'm up earlier. Sometimes I'm up later. What did you find? Oh, good. Love you. Candy chips and pops are the best. So I'm going to use green as sleep time. Now, obviously, I didn't write in every hour of sleep time. And if I'm up or there's a writing sprint that I want to go to at that point that I'm really excited about, of course I'm going to do it. I'm just, it's not so important that I don't. So we know what hours I'm going to be working and what hours I'm going to be sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and take my purple and do the hours I'm homeschooling because Hopi homeschools, which goes from about here, which would be 1130 to here. Oops, I did not need to. I wonder if I can get rid of that with a pencil eraser. Sometimes it works. Let's see. Kind of. Mostly. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so these are my homeschool hours. Do we start exactly at 8 every day? No. Does it take us to 11 o'clock every day? No. Mondays or Fridays she takes off because of the way her curriculum is and she concentrates on a bigger project. See, now I'm just... I can't color for nothing today, I'm telling you. It'd be okay. Other than you guys and the rest of the world that happens to see this, I'm the only one that has to look at this. <laughs> so then, we have homeschooling and And then after work and before work, we're marking with this yellow saying, I cannot. One, I walk to work and I'm always early. And I walk home. We're saying I'm not going to be doing anything during that time. For half an hour. Oh, ah. And I know that I'm not going to be writing Usually, during this chunk of time. 90 days, I'm not scheduled off to work. Obviously, I'm going to be not scheduled to work. Obviously, I'm going to be writing in my work section, more than likely. This leaves some decent chunks of time. Let me think for a moment, and I'll get back with you. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Now, normally, I am far more productive in the morning writing, so if I actually get up at 5 o'clock, like I want to during November, I'll do some writing in early, early morning, way before this. But if I don't wake up until 7, I need at least an hour to get my brain working. 
I don't want to do it on set right on Saturdays. I don't want to crochet for work on Saturdays or anything. And again, I need that hour in the morning to wake up here on Sunday. Now, I know I'm just about as creative in the evenings, late evenings. So I know Monday through Friday, I'm probably going to be writing from 1030 till about midnight. Now that's going to be able to cover those writing sprints, even if I do 20 minute long ones and do three or four of them instead of my, um, instead of write continuously, that'll completely cover it and I'll get my time in for those days. I've already not decided to do writing on Saturday and then I added extra time on Sunday because I have it. Now this space in between here. This is supper time. So I'm not going to be doing that. And this is, I'm not writing on Saturdays because I want to spend time with my kids. Especially if I'm not working at that point. Is that how it's going to happen every single day? But no, in a, in, but in a, in a real world, you know, this is, or not, in an ideal world, this is how it would happen. Of course, I've given myself... Um, an hour and a half before supper, two hours after supper, and another hour and a half later on Sundays, if I need to, and I could always finish writing early in that case, or if I've hit a slump, or something else happens unexpected. That's why it's so important, and I know I skimmed over this, to do this math. It, you need to be realistic about the number of days that you can do actual writing. You need to be realistic about how much time you spend writing and if you do sprints, what's your optimum sprint and what's your word count during those sprints. NaNoWriMo, the website, actually calculates how many words per day you need if you write every single day in November and there's 30. I don't know a whole lot of us who are going to be writing on Thanksgiving and I don't know a whole lot of us who write seven days a week. Now, for me, writing six days a week is perfectly feasible. It might not be feasible for you. Anyway, I hope you got some kind of um, information or entertainment out of this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And then that little dingling bell at the top there. We'll let you know every time I post. I am posting every day in October, and I'd love to have you here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.